after all this experience with Pilate and wanting to release Jesus, kind of this, I feel like there's this wrestle that he's going through. And then when the decision is made to turn him over to, to the mob, in verse 19, and Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross, and the writing was Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Is there any significance to um, the, the the fact that it was Pilate who wrote this title and put it on there? Is that kind of is, is he proclaiming anything that he learned through this process of interviewing Jesus? So I think that's a, one of those times where the scriptures can probably speak to us in different ways. One way that often scholars will view this is Pilate's kind of just sticking it to the Jewish authorities. He's he's okay. upset that they've backed him into a corner. Okay. So and that's why you see in the following verses the chief priests are like, well, don't write that he was the king of the Jews, he just that like he it. said he was. Okay. And Pilate, nope, I've written it. Now you could also view that as Pilate is one of the first Christian missionaries. Yeah. Like what and if he's bearing his testimony yeah. saying like this is my declaration, my self declaration. Yeah. And he's doing it in multiple languages, right? He's, yeah. he's going to all the world. So I think we could see it in both those ways. And maybe like with all of these things we've been talking about, we, we can't know Caiaphas's right. motives. Mm -hmm. We can't know Pilate's motives. But we can kind of look inward and say, Lord, is it I? Are there ever times when I'm going to compromise on my beliefs for expediency? And yeah, I'm going to turn my back on you a little bit, Jesus, because, boy, this is a tough situation. Yeah. Those are the warnings, and I think that's one of the power of these stories is that we don't get the message of the warning if we turn the people into, make them, that they're not human. Mm. And the more we can see them as humans who are making decisions that are selfish and self-serving, but that actually is very much as we can often be, and then not living up to the truth that we have because it's uncomfortable, it's embarrassing, it might, we might lose opportunities if we're true to what we know. And I think that as we can see them doing that, we can recognize, we can say, mm -hmm. how am I doing things that are like that to not be, be true to the truth? Mm -hmm.